Good morning. Imagine you're standing in the line at the checkout. What do you see? You probably see snacks and candy, random toys, miscellaneous items like for your purse or your suitcase. But you also see a bunch of magazines around, right? And if you're reading any of the headlines on these magazines, you're probably seeing something like this. You need a new rug. A new rug. Or maybe you see something like this. How to lose 10 pounds. Or maybe even something like this. Chasing perfection with the next tennis star. Chasing perfection is a pretty high bar to do. A lot of kids, when we see toy ads, we're going to see things like new and improved. Shiny, better models, like with our cell phones, always getting new models. And the reason I'm talking about all these messages is in everything we do, we get ads, we get messages thrown at us in the world, and they all have this one underlying message, which is you need to do more and you're not good enough. You want to lose more weight or you want to have better clothes or maybe buy a new item or get that new shiny toy. These messages are coming at us all day, every day, and it gives us a couple of doubts on are we good enough or are we happy with what we have? And it's important to remember that we are good enough, that we're perfectly, perfectly made in God's image. And who you are today is exactly who you're meant to be today. And we are to be content in everything that we have. It says so in Philippians 4, the end of 11 on to verse 13. For I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. That verse is to tell us to be content, to not strive or worry that we're not good enough, that we have to do more or get more. When ultimately it's God that gives us everything we need. And when we find, truly find that glory, I'm telling you, it fills you in ways you never thought possible. Your heart will literally rejoice. It even says so in Psalms 13, 5. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. God will always give us salvation because he already sent his son to die for us. It's a done deal. So his salvation is just waiting for us. We don't need to lose weight or gain weight. We don't need that next new shiny upgraded model. We don't need another thing. What we need is Jesus's grace and love, God's glory, and the Holy Spirit working inside us so that we can bring others to this amazing, amazing gift that we have inside us. So I encourage you to ignore all those messages. You are perfectly perfect today and keep striving for who God made you to be tomorrow. I'd love to pray for you about this. And then we get a great message for the rest of the week. Dear God, thanks for making us perfectly perfect in your image. Thanks for being there and helping us battle against all of the images and messages that come at us every day. Thanks for the love of your son who grants us eternal life and for the gift of the Holy Spirit that helps us be strong and work towards you daily. In your son's name I pray all these things. Amen. Everybody have a great week.